It is wet, and, and, and it's getting better, though. If you're south of I-80, things are, are pretty good. If you're along I-80, still soggy for the next hour. Take a peek at the radar. All of this heavy rain we've had this evening is pulling from southwest to northeast, and it's almost getting out of the area. But for those of you along northern portions of Lawrence County, in southern Mercer County, over into the Oil City area, over into Clarion, we're still looking at a soggy another half an hour to 45 minutes as this stuff pulls off to the north and east. Slippery Rock getting a couple of showers left, but other than that, we're clearing out pretty nicely down in through portions of Indiana and Westmoreland counties, northern Armstrong County. We still have a couple of pockets of a few spotty showers. Pittsburgh to the south were mainly dry, still a little patchy drizzle you see here being reported in Pittsburgh, 57 the current temperature. And that's interesting because we've stayed in those upper 50s all evening and we're not going to budge the rest of the night. So it'll be pretty mild when you wake up tomorrow morning. Look at these numbers. Connellsville's at 62 degrees. We're looking at upper 50s in Beaver Falls, Morgantown, Washington, and Newcastle, all in the upper 50s. Look at Clarion. 59 degrees and consider yesterday's high was only 50. So the temperature change over the last 24 hours, almost 20 degrees warmer today in some spots than we were at this time last night. Now tomorrow we stay in that warm sector. The warm front has pushed through, so it's taking the rain off to the north. We could get a little break in the clouds here and there by morning, not promising a lot of sun, but at least we'll have a dry start and we could see a little glimmer of a peak of sun at times for a few minutes tomorrow morning. But it won't last long. Look out from Chicago down through St. Louis. That is more shower and thunderstorm activity ahead of a cold front that will arrive here later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And when those two systems clash, we could see a few thunderstorms. We have a marginal risk for a few strong to severe thunderstorms, but it'll depend on how much the cloud cover clears. If we stay overcast, that'll help keep a lid on any instability. So we'll keep an eye on that. Here's futurecast tomorrow morning. We're waking up to cloudy skies, but dry conditions. Now by lunchtime, you wanna keep the umbrella handy. A couple of showers start to pop and they'll become more numerous through the afternoon. There you see by seven, eight o'clock, here comes that chance for a few thunderstorms ahead of that cold front. And then that front keeps things stirred up enough that we have uh, low pressure swirling through Tuesday, keeping us in cooler air and some scattered showers all the way through Tuesday evening. So here's your seven day forecast. We're looking at drier air invading the rest of the night. Tomorrow, we're all the way up to 70. If you want to get out tomorrow, make sure you do it in the first half of the day and your morning commute should be dry. And we're looking at showers, possibly a few thunderstorms from mid to late afternoon into the evening, but mainly a dry morning in the high 70 degrees. Then behind that front, look at the difference. We dropped down to a high of only 55 on Tuesday. A few scattered showers off and on through the day. Wednesday should be nice. The only dry day of the week, 61. Thursday, 66, a few showers. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're back in these upper 50s and this showery pattern. And right now for the Halloween forecast, looks mild, 59 degrees, but a few scattered showers.